Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 30th, 2020. So how about we grab something to drink, get all cozied into our chair here, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the morning market prep. This morning, we have an interesting situation. Um, we have all of a sudden fear spiking back up due to the coronavirus and seems to be impacting markets around the world. We've tried to ignore it here recently, rallying right back up into price re um, resistance levels in the chart. But we ended up yesterday leaving behind a pop and drop type pattern and that pop and drop um, I mentioned that possibility um, as we push up toward those resistance levels and to be careful about chasing long trades um, into price resistance. Now this morning we're getting some impacts here as um, uh, I guess uh, death numbers uh, for the virus uh, uh, popping up over uh, 170 and we have more and more cases uh, being um, applied every day with those numbers up over 7,000. Now some folks are continuing to try to say this isn't isn't all that serious and I, I get that the death toll from this is is less than it was from the SARS virus. But make no mistake, folks, um, China is having some serious troubles here. Um, food prices are beginning to spike because producers have been closing down their facilities. And so food prices are starting to spike in those infected areas. They're also seeing you know, massive closings of business, which is obviously affecting um, uh, economy over there. Um, and Olympic trials, um, um, situation was also canceled they're going through some pretty trying times over there and you know companies from McDonald's and Ikea and um, Starbucks and all of these businesses closing are going to experience some substantial impacts due to uh, this um, outbreak whether it becomes terrible or not it's it's certainly going to be impactful to uh, market prices. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. And this morning, um, markets are reacting to that. Um, as of right now, we're looking at the Dow gapping down a couple hundred points. Now that's not too serious yet because we still have the price support that we held last time in the sell-off. So we're, we're okay, we're just getting that pullback. The one concern that we have here on uh, this pullback this morning is now we may have actually printed a lower high in uh, the Dow and other indexes. So we'll wanna watch that pretty closely as we pull back toward this support. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. And with a big, huge number of earnings this morning, this could of course get mitigated um, here as well. So kind of keep an eye on this. Um, anything is possible. What we should expect is considerable volatility around this as this crisis seems to continue to grow. Um, there's word that the World Health Organization may be uh, once again considering global crisis. Um, I don't know when a vote on that might occur, but just those little bit of fears um, creating some issues and seeing little cases of this virus pop up in different places around the world. India reporting the latest one that I know of, um, the, the virus has made it there. So lots of, uh, lots of things to um, be considering as you're planning your day forward. So be careful. Hopefully you haven't uh, been buying up or really chasing a whole bunch of stocks into this rally back to resistance because it'll be a little bit painful this morning if that is the case. Let's take a look at the um, SPY, SPY doing very much the same thing. Rallying up, we rally back up toward the, the bottom side of that downtrend 
or uptrend um, we rallied right back into that price resistance and by the close of the day once again produced that pop and drop type pattern on the day we are now looking at a gap down situation this morning moving lower but once again we're holding well above price support in the chart so nothing critical here just yet but certainly a concern and something we're going to have to watch pretty closely today um uh, Q's very much the same. Q's getting a uh, drop this morning. We had really good earnings reports out of Amazon, and you can see overall the Q's really still holding on to that trend. We moved down and tested that trend, but we held on to the trend, one of the stronger indexes right now. But we did rally right up there into that price resistance finish the day with a little teeny tiny pop and drop type pattern and now we're following through with a bit of a gap down this morning now that could still hold this trend we'll have to watch wait and see and with amazon reporting this afternoon hey anything is possible um, we had um, a facebook reporting yesterday um, which seemed to disappoint investors we had a microsoft report yesterday which um, uh, really uh should help hold um, the NASDAQ up. If we take a look at uh, Microsoft, it's had a huge bump up and that is a big, big company in the index. So a uh, big weighting in the index, so looking good. But then Facebook also very large weighting in the index, kind of counterbalancing that with a pretty substantial gap down. For those of you who don't know, I point this out every morning um, and I forget to mention this, this little triangle here is showing the um, live bid ask spread in the market. So as you can see, um, that's that's where we're expected to open this morning and certainly not where we want to be and certainly um, could turn into a painful situation if um, this continues uh, to to happen with uh, us breaking down in here into this uh, area uh, and below uh, support levels this morning here on Facebook. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has been struggling anyway, and IWM put in a failure pattern, little hanging man pattern and bearish engulfing can candle right here at price resistance in the chart. Now price resistance runs all the way back over here, and it is certainly doing its job right here um, and as you can see, we're gapping down this morning pretty substantially here in IWM and the possibility that that could even break the low of last week. And if that were the case, um, we have that certain potential that IWM could start that move down toward this next level of support. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX has been um, certainly backing up and moving lower. And as you can see here, we have uh, my drawings on the chart where we held on to this support level yesterday. We closed, moved below it you know, with yesterday's pop. We moved below it. And now we're starting to see a little bit of that fear spike back up. And like I've said before, I'm never really concerned about that first sell off where I really start getting nervous in the market is when we fail to make a um, a new high and we get that lower high in the index that's where fear can really start coming in so we want to watch this pretty closely we've popped up and now if we're going to hold this level of support in here and fear starts coming back into the market that's where real selling can begin so we'll want to watch that pretty carefully be really really cautious on how you proceed um, uh, this morning let's watch wait and see how the market reacts um, and this could just be another knee-jerk reaction we just don't know so let's watch that pretty close let's take a look at T2122 and I mentioned T2122 yesterday and, and I was concerned about this I mentioned this to the RWO folks uh, during the day T2122 actually pulled back yesterday, even as the markets were trying to move higher. And what that tells me is that the rally was not broad-based. Uh, um, there were more companies either stalling or pulling back yesterday than there were 
those rallying. So we're getting fewer and fewer companies really working to lift the market higher. And it's those really big companies that continue to do that. So we'll want to watch this pretty close. But um, a little tiny warning here um, occurred yesterday for this problem that we just weren't getting enough breadth in the market to to really substantially move. So I suspect um, we're going to get another one of these situations where we pop off of these low areas like we've done over here in the past. We pop off of these low areas, rally, pop off the low area rally, and then come right back down. And it looks like that could be the situation this morning. Uh, currently, Dow futures are pointing to 220 points down. Now, of course, we still have a lot of earnings to go through this morning, and we even have GDP numbers and jobless claims this morning on the uh, economic calendar but right now futures are not looking too happy so we could move this right back down into uh, this um, oversold area really fast in one fell swoop so watch that down there again if it's just a knee-jerk reaction we could start bouncing right back up after the gap down so watch close let's take a look at our economic calendar for, for today and our economic calendar has a little bit to say about what's going on in the market um, we have GDP numbers GDP is expected to come in around 2% uh, 2.1%, so no real major fluctuation there. Everything is looking pretty good. Our jobless claims, jobless claims, who knows where that will come in, but right now jobs have been so strong, can't imagine we're going to see any major shifts there or causing any major problems. We have a natural gas report and Fed balance sheet. I wouldn't expect them to move the market really at all. The FOMC decided yesterday to hold interest rates um, where they are, and, and that was largely expected, so no big surprise there but they did mention a couple of concerns one being that that business investment has started to decline so um, is it a trend starting to show some weakness in the market couldn't tell you that but something to be made note of since um, uh, you know the Fed chair brought that up brought that to everyone's attention so let's watch that close. Remember, we're sliding into that weekend and who knows what happens on that virus this weekend. So think about those profits that you may have in trades. Uh, maybe start trimming some of those profits, maybe start reducing some of that risk as we slide toward that weekend because boy, anything could be possible over the weekend. Um, you just never know. So let's um, just be thoughtful about how we approach today. One of the things we don't wanna do is we don't wanna panic we want to stay very focused to our price action try to remove that emotion try to set aside our bias and just focus in on what the chart is telling us and I can tell you folks that 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 has allowed me to be a profitable trader trader full-time for the last 15 years support my family and put two kids through college with just that kind of thinking calm focused attention to price action can make the difference in whether you're profitable or not so if you find these videos to be helpful, if you guys could do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel that the video is worthy, please click that thumbs up button and leave me a brief comment. That helps a lot in getting these videos um, shown to more and more folks by the YouTube algorith algorithms. So with that, let's take a look at some of the earnings that are coming. We have a huge day of um, earnings. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. We have a huge day of earnings coming um, today, and lots of stocks have already reported. Um, started to report. Uh, Coca-Cola reported, um, as expected, a nice, um, they didn't really beat or anything. They came in line in estimates, and you can see Coca-Cola popping up this morning. Um, we have um, uh, Altria reporting today. Amgen will report today. We have Hershey reporting today. So we'll want to just keep an eye. There's a lot of stocks. UPS, one of those um, kind of bellwether for the market as to the health of, of um, shoppers. Now, UPS has had some, some issues here, but as you can see, looks like it's gapping just a slightly 
a slight bit lower. Uh, Valero Energy um, will be reporting today. WDC will be reporting today. Looks like they've already reported and they are gapping slightly lower. Eli Lilly is reporting today and it looks like uh, they're reporting well, maybe gapping just a tiny bit higher here this morning. Um, EA Sports reporting today. So a big round of earnings events that we'll want to focus in on. And then of course, um, we also have, you know, the Mac Daddy um, reporting today. Amazon reports after the bell today. So anything is possible once we reach that end of the day. So big round of earnings events. You'll want to stay focused on that as we move forward. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. And um, if this is, again, the first time that you've seen these videos, click that click that subscribe button. But let's take a look at some of the stocks that I've been keeping an eye on. But I got to tell you, so many of these stocks are uh, carry quite a little bit of risk right now because of the volatility of the market. So watch and be very, very careful about how you approach some of these trades. Now, one of those I've already looked at, and that's that's Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola has been doing very, very well. Coke, um, um, breaking through resistance highs, looking very, very strong, and now popping up this morning. Now, the last thing I want to do is chase a gap. So what I would want to do is I'd want to watch this open in here. Might wait and see if there's another pullback or a consolidation in that move and wait for that opportunity to pick that up. One of the places that seems to be gaining um, more and more ground right now is in these defensive sector stocks. And they're the safety plays, the folks, the places where you can go and get um, nice dividend yield. So take a look at Coke, take a look at. Um, I'm going to stay on the soda or drinks area. Take a look at PepsiCo. They've been holding up really well. Um, Monster Beverage um, has been holding a beautiful price pattern, nice little pullback. Um, any buying stepping in here off of this trend could be uh, a potential entry. Now, please keep in mind, guys, that every time I talk about a, a chart in this video, I want you all to remember that this is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, every single one of us has to do our own due diligence, decide whether or not a trade is suitable for us. So please keep in mind, I am not recommending any the buy or sell of anything in here. Just pointing out charts that could be setting up and you need to do your evaluation and decide whether or not these charts fit you personally. Let's take a look at charts like um, ABT. ABT pulling back, holding on to some price support and trend. So you can see I've placed a price alert on that chart. If that continues to rest over here toward the trend, I want to be watching this for that opportunity for uh, this to pop out of here. And so keeping an eye on ABT. ABT is a pretty nice little setup. I, took a look at OSTK yesterday and OSTK rallying back up. You know, we were watching this and actually made some really nice money on this and right way options. But now um, OSTK rallying back up, running right into price resistance. I would be really, really careful here on this chart. I think what has to happen and, and well, I know what has to happen for me. Anytime a stock breaks price support, I require it to recover and prove it can hold it before I'm ever interested in buying it. So although it's recovering here a little bit, I'd be really, really careful here on uh, looking at that. Another place you can look um, that can sometimes do very, very well in markets like this is take a look at uh, consumer staples. Now, staples tried to move up yesterday and ended up pulling back. Now, we're, we had this breakout and we're holding on to this support. It's entirely possible that consumer staples could be putting in a lower high top. So a concern here on that. But if we can find support in here, um, staples are, you know, when the market is um, spooky and scary and all of those kind of things. Um, everyone needs their, you know, everyone needs their t-shirts and underwear and, you know, those staples that, um, 
uh, we all need to have no matter what the market is doing. So keep an eye on that. That might be a place to look. Another place would be um, utilities. Um, utilities have held up incredibly strong. I mean, there's just a, a massive move to those big dividend payers in utilities. So take a look at some of those utility companies. You might find something in there. Other stocks to keep an eye on, as I mentioned yesterday, I'm long, actually long this position in J&J. &J, feeling really good about that trade um, at the moment. Um, we'll see if it holds up today, but right now, following through looking good um, in, in that chart. And I'd be careful about chasing it here today, but um, a nice little chart. Um, that AA XN continuing to set up looking very, very good as that continues to move over here, consolidate, watch that move off of that potential trend. And as you can see, this is a massive breakout. So keep an eye on that chart. So there's a few things for you to keep an eye on, a few things to watch. Um, um, other places that you know you can take a look at is some of these cannabis stocks that have recovered right back up and CGC had a big upgrade. If this holds this support area right in here, consolidates over the trend, there may be an opportunity. But got to be a little bit careful with all of these in this environment and the volatility around this market can be very challenging. So if you're finding yourself um, losing money substantially, um, it's time to back away. Um, remember, you don't have to trade every day to be successful. Consider that. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I want to wish you all the very best. We'll see you right back here bright and early um, for the morning market prep on Friday morning. Take care. Have a great one. And I wish you great profits.